lipopolysaccharide or LPS mediated inflammation signaling is a complex cascade that plays a crucial role in the immune response against gram negative bacterial infections. The process begins with the recognition of LPS, a component of bacterial outer membranes by toll like receptor 4, in short, TLR4. The TLR4 receptor is expressed on the surface of various immune cells including macrophages, dendritic cells and B cells. TLR4 forms a complex with co-receptors MD2 and CD14, facilitating the binding of lipopolysaccharide. This interaction induces downstream signaling pathways. MD2, known as myeloid differentiation protein 2, aids in LPS recognition. CD14, or cluster of differentiation 14, serves as a glycoprotein co-receptor for LPS. CD14 exists in two forms, soluble in the bloodstream and membrane-bound on the immune cell surfaces, especially on monocytes and macrophages. Upon LPS binding, TLR4 undergoes conformational changes, activating two main signaling pathways, the mid-88-dependent pathway and the TRIF-dependent pathway. In the mid-88-dependent pathway, mid-88 is recruited, leading to the activation of interleukin-1 receptor-associated kinases and tumor necrosis factor receptor-associated factor 6, which is TRAF6. This activation sets off downstream signaling cascades including the NF-kappa-B and MAPK pathways. Now, NF-kappa-B, a key transcription factor, translocates to the nucleus and induces the expression of pro-inflammatory genes such as TNF-alpha, interleukin-1-beta and IL-6. Simultaneously, the MAPK pathway contributes to phosphorylating transcription factors like AP1. These events collectively lead to the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines which are critical for the activation of immune cells. TRIF activates downstream signaling events ultimately leading to the activation of interferon regulatory factor 3 also known as IRF3. Activated IRF3 translocates to the nucleus and induces the transcription of genes encoding type 1 interferons which are INF-alpha and INF-beta. Type 1 interferons plays a crucial role in the antiviral response by inducing the expression of interferon-stimulated genes also known as ISGs. Further, macrophages and neutrophils Crucial players in the immune response are activated in response to LPS signaling. Chemokines produced as a result attract these immune cells to the site of infection where they phagocytize bacteria and contribute to the clearance of infection. The resolution of inflammatory response is tightly regulated by negative feedback mechanisms. Proteins like SOCS and A20 act as negative regulators, inhibiting cytokine signaling and preventing the immune response from becoming overly aggressive. This regulatory process is essential to avoid excessive inflammation, which can lead to tissue damage and contribute to the pathogenesis of inflammatory diseases. All right, this concludes today's video on LPS mediated signaling. In the future, I will cover more interesting topics to enhance your understanding of cellular signaling. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Your support is really critical in creating additional videos like this. Thank you so much for your support. These are some of the references you can read to get more information regarding LPS-mediated cellular signaling.